Sports talk all day, that's what we are. Sam Griffin, I'm Yosef. We got a lot to talk about today. We're starting off, are the Browns for real? An AFC North that is loaded with talent. You've got talent all around. Any team in the AFC North can realistically go to the Super Bowl, including the Bengals, who may be a fresh change in the coaching, will make the difference. What do you guys think? Browns for real? What do you um, I don't think they're for real. They've made a lot of moves with Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. Um, and they have Baker Mayfield and Kareem Hunt. But quantity does not always mean quality. We still don't know if these players will all mesh well together. And it's also a 53-man roster. Signing, like, seven good players isn't going to automatically make your team great. You yeah, need a complete team. Football is the ultimate team sport, which is why the greatest quarterback of all time, Drew Brees, he's never really got those Super Bowls because he's been robbed by whether a no-call in the NFC Championship game or robbed of going to an NFC Championship game by a horribly missed tackle on Stephon Diggs. And I really agree with you. The Browns are overhyped. OBJ, he's got to stay on the field. Baker Mayfield is it that type of quarterback who will throw his teammates under the bus. And I, it's very different winning when nothing counts. But when you're 7-5, and five, you're going for a playoff spot. Everything changes. Before adding all this talent, the Browns almost finished above 500 last year. And that was with Baker at the helm for most of the season. I recall the week five game against the Ravens where Baker, against the best statistical defense in the league last year, threw for 400 something yards, which without hit, without a top 10 at least receiver in Odell Beckham. They also added another star power in Kareem Hunt, but he won't be there for them until the second half. Chubb's only getting better with the big, big plays. And their defense is still amazing too with pass rushers like Olivier Vernon and Miles Garrett and their secondary is loaded with a second year uh, player Denzel Ward who they got with the draft number the fourth overall pick when they took Baker first. Right but they were also so silly they moved on from their coach that got them there. Like I don't think that's I think that's really gonna hold them back. I don't I agree with that. I don't understand why they would fire their coach after that but that's what they decided to do. They tried to maybe make it more offensive. And the strength of schedule will really be against, will really be helping the Browns. I mean, the Ravens, they've got to play the Texans. They've got to play the Chiefs. The Steelers, they've got to play the Chargers. And, but who do the Browns got to play? Well, they do have to play one team that keeps on going, that one quarterback, I should say, that really has done well against the Browns historically. Joe Flacco and the Browns will be meeting again in 2019 season. But really, the Browns' schedule is really going to help them this year. Um... I definitely agree with you. If you've got an easier schedule, you're probably going to do better. But an easier schedule may not prepare you well enough for the much harder and more cutthroat playoffs. So you think they'll make it to the playoffs and then just flame out? Yeah, they could very easily flame out in the playoffs. And we've got breaking news coming in from Ian Rappaport in the NFL. Tom Brady, he has announced his retirement after 19 years in the NFL. He released a statement on Twitter, I want to spend more time with my brand nutri new nutrition business. Thanks for like letting me play. And here's the thing with that. That is amazing for the Baltimore Ravens. When you have to play the AFC, the Ravens, are, the AFC North is playing the AFC East. The Ravens getting that extra win versus pa the, the Patriots, because here's the thing. Brady retired, so that means Edelman's retiring are here, that means Belichick's going out. This is the end of the Patriots. I said it on my videos that I never thought that the Patriots would make it to another Super Bowl, and I, this is the realization of my prophecy. That is true, but we, I believe that Belichick will stay for at least one or two more years and try to get a quarterback and try to prove that it was sneaky him all along and um, Brady's just a system quarterback. but. Uh, that actually makes sense. Belichick, what do you think? Um, my wildest dream of sports has absolutely come true because I despise the Patriots. So, exactly. So if their biggest, most famous, and most hated player finally retires, party time. <laughs> like I'm out. I am out of here. <laughs> going back to the Browns here, this is really going to make their 2019 a lot easier also. Again, they're also playing the Patriots. This will make, give them that sh probably an extra win. And what we're really helpful with the Ravens is the Ravens, I'm not sure how I feel about this now, they've got a bye week coming into that Patriots game Sunday Night Football. I'm assuming that game's going to be moved. Who wants to see Lamar Jackson or Spell Belichick? Mm. 
Yeah. It is something you want to see. You want to see if he can contain the greatness of Lamar, which they've never done before. But We're up against the break, but we'll keep you all updated for the latest news. For my co-host, Sam, Sam Griffin, I'm Yosef. Thanks for tuning in.